Hello mates. As you know, sometimes it gets tricky when you try to come up with decent, neat and nice looking effects in Grandma too. Especially when you have different amounts of fixtures and various trusses. Also when you have lots of pixel fixtures, it gets hard sometimes when you want to come up with something interesting and new. So this is why some people use bitmap and that's when you miss out on functionality. Because you can't change speed and other parameters. Another way would be tricky selections and dummy fixtures. But it takes a lot of time and often you don't get the kind of result you'd expect normally. And so this is why I'm very happy to show you Layout Effects Mate that lets you create stunning effects and it also lets you adjust the speed width direction and both high and low values. Layout Effects takes fixtures in layout, calculates and gives the programmer necessary phases for every fixture. You can save it as a new effect or directly store it to queue. So what you want to do is simply select your fixtures, apply any effect and run the plugin. Before that you can select the form of your distribution shape, position and acceleration. You can make it go faster or you can slow it down. So the plugin also sees groups, blocks, wings and the phase range of the effect. So let's make like four blocks. So I'll show it to you in a bigger pixel grid just so you could see it better. So let's start with a simple dimmer sinus effect. So what I do now is I choose fixtures and apply the effect. Right now I have bottom left rectangle activated, so I just start the plugin and we get that. This macros bundle comes with the plugin. Those are used to quickly set the parameters that are stored to user variables. You basically only need these. Other macros are just tags for frequently used values. So basically I can pick the central position by pressing this or enter top left directly. To apply these parameters to the current effect, you need to start the plugin with this macros. Also, you can ignore user variable settings and apply parameters manually by aids of this macros. So I enter top right oval, press please, and there we go. With these settings, you can specify the layout manually. There are five assignment forms. The first one is a line. It's a diagonal line by default although you can pick vertical or horizontal. Also, you can choose any angle. The slope is a rhombus. And from the center of either side is an arrow. By default, the rectangle stretches over all of your selection. You can also set the width and height ratio. So with the width of 1 to 2, the ratio will be 2 times smaller than the height. Same goes for both oval and circle. Okay, now for the grid. Here I have the 3x3 layout grid. Let's switch this parameter. Now every layout grid cell is like one pixel. You can also set the size manually. For example, 4x2. Okay, now let's switch up the grid. Now about acceleration. Any value higher than 1, like 2 for example, will accelerate the effect and the value between 0 and 1, like 0 0.3 for instance, will result in deceleration. Now let's see how the plugin reacts to group settings. Let's take two groups. Now let's make four. 
we can get some pretty wild results if we pick more groups. Let's say 20. Now we can also change the amount of blocks. Let's say something like six. And three wings. Negative wings also count. Let's make it minus three. Now let's see what we can do with moving effects. Here we have symmetrical circle with minus two wings on pan and two wings on tilt. So let's say we take the bottom line. Let's see. Okay, let's save that. Okay, now let's make one on the left. And two groups. All right, and so now I want to make the flyout effect by truss. And without the plugin, it would be kind of tricky, but now it's really easy. So we only need the upper horizontal line. Start the plugin. Now let's create two groups. That's great. Merge that. So let's make another effect. Let's take the bottom left line. Two groups. I'll save that. Okay. So lastly, let's do the color effect. So I have a template effect between two color presets. The top center line should be good. And make it half the phase range. And that's it. So we did a few decent effects in just about a minute. If you like the plugin, go ahead and visit veildarnov.com to download detailed manual, buy layout effects mate, and check out a lot of other interesting stuff. Okay, stay safe and get gigs.